breaking news mm-hmm. worth worth mentioning because it is kind of just hitting right now and um, don't really know a lot about it other than the fact that I saw this headline, OpenAI buying uh, Johnny Ive, who's the the famous, <laughs> famous is even putting it lightly, uh, iPhone designer. <laughs> legendary. Ha- it, it is yeah, a legendary. Time. There you go. Johnny Ive's AI device startup, $6.4 billion acquisition. And there had been rumors that Ive and Altman had been talking about some sort of collaboration. So it's kind of this makes a lot of sense. Uh, obviously, OpenAI has the has the currency and the and the mind share and everything to just be like, well, why don't we just <laughs> buy your company and make this official? And Johnny Ives a huge get for anyone, let alone for something like this. This is going to pique people's interests immediately as far as like what we talk about a lot, which is what is an AI device? What is an AI first device? And now we've got you know the guy who really you know helped create and that might even putting it lightly uh the the modern smartphone and uh here you go now he's he's in a position to create the modern ai device so uh wall street journal says that uh he will uh extend across his work will extend across all the company's ventures from future versions of ChatGPT to audio features its app and other products according to people wow. familiar. so they're not just hiring his unknown device because if, if it, you know, you and I have been dubious since since you had got your rabbit. We've talked about we made fun of the humane pin. Um, dubious that there's AI specific. There it is. The portal. There it is in its home on my shelf. Just like uh, yeah, the museum. Um, <laughs> so what's 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 an AI device? What makes it separate? I mean, we saw it this week in the glasses. Uh, that that certainly that's Google one. Has, yeah, that's, that's one. one. We get that. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Uh, beyond that, you already have your phone. That's a device. Is OpenAI going to start a phone? I hope not. That's not going to work very well. So it's interesting that they're hiring him. I mean, they also um, hired Fiji Simo as the day-to-day management uh, executive at OpenAI, which I think is really important. Fiji, I, I've known for years from her days at Facebook when she was in charge of um, uh, lots of things there, like like introducing video into Facebook and things like that. She's she's a brilliant executive, brilliant mm-hmm. developer of new products, and uh, uh, and so I think bringing her in as a uh, real grown-up executive management, bringing Johnny Ive in as visionary in terms of design, and by design, I don't just mean product design, I mean broader right. senses of design. Yep. broader vision. Uh, human-centered yeah. design and all that. Um, mm-hmm. Those are impressive hires. They're important. Uh, but again, they've got to go up a mountain to try to convince people to use OpenAI instead of other free versions and up against... Apple, Microsoft, I mean, Google, Microsoft, Apple, and Meta, which already have, of course, huge user bases. And, and no matter how often they say, oh, we've got lots of users using ChatGPT, that to me is fairly meaningless at this point uh, because it's not integrated into people's lives, I don't think, greatly. I mean, yeah, I, I hear a lot of colleagues when I asked ChatGPT about this, here's what they had to say, let me email it to you. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's that kind of level of use, but it's not integrated yeah. into lives that way. So it'll be interesting to see what what uh, insight Ive can bring. So that, that's definitely um, breaking news. Plus, they get a staff of roughly 55 engineers, scientists, researchers, physicists, physicists, and product development specialists will come from Love From, uh, Ive's Love company. From. Yeah, that's um, right. The creative and, collective. Um, OpenAI will be a customer of Love From, and Love From will receive a stake in OpenAI. Oh, so they're kind of keeping them somewhat. Oh, I guess they have to keep them a little bit separate because of the whole Fakakta uh, OpenAI corporate structure. Mm, oh, okay. Right. right. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, all I'm equity I'm deal. Quickly reading the Wall Street Journal here. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, I have a growing sense that everything I've learned over the past 30 years has led me to this moment, I've said in a statement with probably what he said 25 years ago, but fine. Um, I hope we can bring some of the delight, wonder, and creative spirit that I first felt using an Apple computer 30 years ago. Um, I mean, if there's, if there's someone who has the resume and the pedigree to, you know, deliver, you know, have, have more likelihood to deliver on some of these big, big question marks right now, like... I think Johnny Ive is probably yeah. in a pretty good position to do that, or to to at least create something compelling. Like yeah. I, I have, I have, I have a bit of faith that he's probably going to create something compelling. Will it win people over in the same? You know, this is this is the interesting conundrum: is everyone it will compare everything that he does there 
in, in especially in the hardware sense against his previous success in iPhone. And can you even match that? You know, can, and I, I, I'm sure a lot of the, the real kind of hype, you know, hype bros of, uh, of open AI are going to say yes, absolutely. You know, to the moon. Um, but that's a, that's a huge mountain to, to overcome. Uh, the, you know, the iPhone modern day smartphone, how do you, how do you best that? And I, you know, I guess AI is the technology du jour. It, it really is the now, you know, it has that energy. It has early internet energy. It has early mm-hmm. smartphone energy right now. So, but I think it's the right place, right time. It's important that Google had its moment yesterday to say, mm-hmm. we have it everywhere. Uh, we've been everywhere with AI. I, I think that's, I think that's critical here. Uh, what, what I'm curious about too, is just in terms of deal structure here, besides what we've already discussed, deal mm-hmm. value. So six point five billion dollars. I don't know how it's structured and what way it'll be paid out, um, and how much is stock that's still up in the air, and, and what cash they're using from their venture capitalists and so on. But what were they really buying? Mm-hmm. Did did Johnny Ive have some secret laboratory that um, uh, Altman has seen and said, "Oh, I must have it." It'd be like it'd be like buying you know Xerox Park in the early days. Uh, mm-hmm. If 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 um, Steve Jobs had had the opportunity to just buy. Xerox Park, mm-hmm. what he would have gotten with that. He didn't need it because he just went off and did it anyway. And, right. and, and, and people left and started things like PostScript, but tremendous value came out of what they'd actually done. Or is Johnny Ive alone worth $6.5 billion? Mm-hmm. Are, they, right. are, they, are they merely buying the future and saying it's worth for us to put him in our corral so somebody else can't have him? So um, someone else can't have him, that's a good question. Yeah, it's really like, yeah. a, in that sense, it's, well, I was gonna say it's like, Google buying YouTube in the day, but Google got YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they weren't buying That's the pretty, founders; they bought pretty, YouTube. Pretty good for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All all equity deal, all stock, and all stock. Okay, yeah. So that's what we're looking at right now. So just delicious. interesting. Yep, very good. Love a little. Uh, I love oh. the smell of breaking news. Breaking news.